Hey, I'm Jason Hardy with Elite Barbecue Smokers. Today I'm going to show you a recipe we've done, which is a Texas-inspired spare rib. We didn't want to go sweet. We want to go kind of a salt and pepper flavor to it. That's what we got. It's a great recipe. I know you're going to love it. So let's get to prepping so we can get to cooking. Come on. So the spare ribs we're using today for our Texas-inspired spare rib video is going to be these right here. This right here is a Snake River Farms Berkshire line, Carabula pork. It's 100% natural, no added hormones, but the flavor you can get from these brings it to a whole nother level. I'm going to show you how to take these up, season them up, put them on the grill and smoke them up. First off, they want you to see is the marbling in these. I mean, you can see right here, there's so much more marbling, more fat in there. Therefore, it got a whole lot higher fat content. Now, what you will notice from these is they are a little bit smaller. The reason for that is they're always going to be a smaller animal. They're not being bred and engineered to be these huge ones. But the flavor you can get for these makes up for it. You don't need a whole lot. You can just get a little bit and get the flavor from it. So I've got the membrane off the back of them. But I'm gonna come in here and kind of clean them up a little bit. And kind of just make it even, because it won't cook right. It'll burn off and it won't have the flavor you're looking for. Because it'll dry a little bit, so we don't need it here. So I'm gonna cook these ribs a little bit differently than I would a normal rib. Normally I'd do a competition style, which is a sweet pork rib. But this time I'm doing a Texas inspired flavor. So today we're gonna use two rubs for this. We're using Heath Riles beef rub on it, and we're gonna use Heath Riles garlic butter rub. Good flavor to it combination. The first one we'll do is gonna be the garlic butter. Boy, I tell you what, you can smell that garlic butter. Good smelling rub right there. The next one we're going to top of it is the Heath Riles beef rub. Now, I know what you're saying. This is beef rub and put it on pork, but that's the flavor I'm going with. And it also tastes really good on this. But how? Yeah, we'll put some beef rub on it. It's got more of that little bit of that paprika, the salt, and the black pepper into it. Help us establish a good bark, which is what we're looking for today with this rib. Now, if you see right here, I didn't use a binder, but it's got enough moisture in the meat. I'm not worried about that because it didn't fall off. See what I'm talking about? You don't need a binder if your meat's, if your rub's gonna adhere to the meat. On the top side, we will cross it the same way. Oh, let's double coat it. So we're cooking these Snake River Farms Berkshire Heritage breed pork ribs today on Rectech 1250. We cook them at 250 degrees using Rectech wood pellets. I want to get that smoke flavor into it. All right, been about two hours. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna take them and flip and rotate them around. And you can see the fat start running right up, but it's starting to dry out a little bit. So I got the apple cider vinegar. I'm coming right here and spray them down a little bit. But now listen, this is a heritage breed pork spare rib. So it's a thinner rib, a little bit smaller than what normally you get from a normal commodity rib. So if you're doing that, you may want to go longer. But I'm expecting this to take about four hours on there. But I'm gonna go by color. When I start seeing the meat start pull away from the bone right here, and I start to get the color I'm looking for, I know I'm at the point I need to start checking it for tenderness. So we just brought these inside, show what we got. It's starting to bend on us good, a little bit of pull back from the bone. I can see it right here just starting to break on us. I know that's what I'm looking for. I don't pull it off. I'm gonna come across the top of this, a little bit of this Yes Deer, uh, bold and smoky. Just get a little flavor to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. Brush that in. Tell you what, they look good, don't they? I don't want to overpower it with the sauce. I just put a little bit on there, kind of give me a good glaze, good color to it. I'm gonna flip them over. I'm gonna wrap them up tinfoil. See it kind of start split right here? Exactly what we're looking for right there. Now I'm gonna set these in the cooler. I wanna keep them nice and warm for about an hour and a half or so. I'll let all the flavors kind of melt throughout the ribs. And then we're gonna taste them up and I know they're gonna be delicious. Let's get them in the cooler. All right, so we've taken them off, we we'll let them rest a little while, and the flavors I know is just there. The smell's here. I wish I had this smell of vision because this absolutely smells amazing. Yeah, we're gonna slice them up and taste them. I like to flip mine over. Reason for that is I can follow my bones. I'm coming right here in the middle of it. Slice this one here. Boy, they're slicing good. Give me two of them right here. Why don't y'all look at something other? Why don't you see that smoke ring right there? You see that? Got a good nice little smoke ring on here. They're not dry. They're good and moist right there. They're gonna be good, I know they are. Look at that, look at that. All right, I'm gonna taste it. 
Y'all ready? I know I'm ready. Taste it up. <laughs> that yes dear sauce did give a hint of sweetness to it, which is pretty good with the flavor profile. But the spicy come back in there with that pepper, that air is really good. So these ribs are not what you traditionally get from grocery store. This is a heritage breed. They're not gonna be as big as what you normally get. But again, it's a more dense from meat. So the flavor is there. You can taste that heritage breed in there. It's kind of something refreshing for us to do so many competitions all the time to taste something that's not sweet. That's what I really like about this recipe. It's not a sweet recipe. This is something that I would cook at home and that's what we normally do is a salt and pepper style ribs at home. Doing competition, we do competition. But this is a recipe I'll do many, 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 many times in the future. Hey, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think, how you cook your spare ribs. If you try this recipe, let us know and tag us. All that being said, we're gonna say the bless, go eat. First, we gotta let Dolly try it. Dolly, you ready? Come on, girl. Ow, going back to my fingers there. Dolly liked it. If Dolly liked it, I know you would too. I'll say the blessing. Lord, bless food by receive. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. This is really good, y'all check it out. Hey, if you like this recipe, you wanna see some more of it, check out this link right here. This is going to Snake River Farms, Cheeseburger, we done at the beach for more that weekend. So I rank videos, it's a lot of fun. Check that one out. All that being stated, see y'all next time. Appreciate you watching.